Hey, drone technology fans. Bill here. Drone parachute recovery systems, an overview. I'll have that coming right up. During the 1960s, one of the things that I was absolutely fascinated by was the United States space program, especially when the capsules, the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo would splash down. There would be these unbelievably big parachutes to slow their descent to the Earth, and you see them hit the water. It was just absolutely breathtaking to watch that. What I've come across are there are parachute recovery systems for drones which is an absolutely fascinating topic and it's gaining a lot more popularity. So what I thought I'd do is, is put together an overview of three of them and I believe these three are probably three of the more popular ones. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into this. The first one is called MARS. Now that stands for Multi-Rotor Aerial Recovery System, a pretty good acronym. And here's a demo that I'm gonna show you. Falling height 40 feet, Mayday deployed at 30 feet. Low altitude flip test. Mars ejection and mayday deliver fast response of four tenths of a second. First parachute is activated by the automatic mayday board. The second unit is manually activated to show pilot response time. Okay, that was Mars. The next, the next drone recovery parachute system is Skycat. Now it's made overseas and the US distributor is Fruity Shoots. And here is a demo for Skycat. Parachute ejected. Remember stabilize. Remember throttle idle. Okay, that was Skycat. The third drone recovery system is in Demnus Nexus. Here's a demo from the Roswell Flight Test Crew. Roswell Flight Test Crew here at AUVSI Exponential 2017. And I'm here with Zach Cotty from Indemnus. And you guys have worked out some sort of a parachute system for drones, but we've seen these before. What sets you guys apart? So we protect our parachute as it's coming out from our uh, mechanism, and we shoot it out at about 90 miles an hour to escape the tumble and roll scenario of, a, of an aircraft. We've actually experienced up to 300 RPM rolls in testing, and we've been able to escape those every time. Well, that's impressive. So how does, how does the parachute know to go off? So we have our onboard software system, which is autonomous, and it will detect a failure of a drone within six feet of it falling. And it measures the flight characteristics of the airframe and continuously compares itself to that on a sub-second level. And if it ever finds itself out of the flight envelope, it knows to trigger. Wow. But is there a way the pilot can manually trigger it if they're seeing something they don't like and they think the parachute's better than whatever my other option That's is? correct. If, uh, if he needs a ditch for some reason, then yes, there'll be a manual trigger. Okay, so let's say worst case scenario, I end up deploying one of these things. Should I like go get one of those little CO2 canisters like they use in the paintball guns and like stuff it back in there? What's the procedure? Nope, uh, we have our own air canister and it's a certified system just like your car airbag, for instance. So if it deploys, you're going to ship it back to us. We certify it, repackage it, anything's damaged, we replace it, and then we send it back to you. Wanted to go over some of the prices of these. The Mars P4 Lite is $265. The Skycat P4 is $365. And the Indemnus Inspire 2 was $1699. Now, with the Indemnus Nexus for the Inspire 2, this was as of 2017. That's when Roswell Flight Test Crew film this video. I contacted Indemnus and right now they don't have pricing, but I would, I would expect a similar price point. Some of the differences that I found, um, with, especially with Mars and Skycat, 
Um, they use a mechanical type of release for the parachute. Indemnus uses a gas release for the parachute. Those are some differences that I found there. The other thing is you need to note that their descent to earth is greatly slowed down, but it still comes down pretty fast. I, you know, you may want to, I suggest that you go through and you watch those demos again and see how fast these go down. Now you also have to have to weigh the cost of this versus the benefit. And you know, as, as far as being able to recommend one or the other, I can't do that because I, I really don't know. But from what I've seen, you know, they're all, they all look like good, reliable systems. Um, I know Indemnus has done quite a bit of testing with their Inspire. And I'm going to put links to all of their websites so you can definitely check those out. The Roswell Test Flight, Flight Test Crew, I'm going to put a, a link for that video in there as well. Um, this is something I think you definitely need to check out, um, especially if you have an Inspire. Uh, you know, that is getting to be a very pricey drone. And that's very, it's, you know, it's something that you want to be able to have something to be able to help. I know insurance, I know a lot of, a lot of us have insurance. A lot of us have DJI care, but if we can try to help, if, the, if there's a catastrophic failure and be able to recover the drone, the more power to us. So I invite you to check them out at their websites. This is not an exhaustive list, like I said, but this is several of the ones that are out there that I found to be three of the more popular ones. If you like the content from today's video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and tell others about the channel. Also, be sure to check out my Facebook page where I do post daily updates regarding the drone and drone industry and anything that's DJI related. Also, be sure to check out my Twitter account where I do post frequent updates there as well. Thanks for watching and happy flying.